Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you sorry, how to um, host a private server for you and your friends on the Windows 10 or Xbox version of R. So right now I'm on my computer, my Windows 10 computer, and what you want to do is you want to go host local, you want to do your settings, whatever that may be, you want to go onto whatever map you want. I don't want to delete anyone's data from the service I've hosted, so I'm just going to run a dedicated on the center. So then you accept. You can do an, a, a server password if you like. I don't know how that works though, because I haven't done it. And then you can do an admin password, so people can't add the command. I just did a random thing. And then you go in. What's up? We are currently remote playing on my Xbox, as you can see. Unfortunately, you may be able to hear a vacuum cleaner as well. Um, now I'm just going to invite myself to the game. You can either join off your profile, but I'm appearing offline. So there we go. As the game can play, invite you to play Alex Survivor Evolved. Then you can load in. No, maybe you can put passwords on this um, to make it more, you know, secure. Obviously, only you and your friends can play if you use a password and um, don't share it around. But yeah, you will load into the center map. Alrighty there, and once you're loaded in, as you see, there is a character message that you can do the survivor names, all that sort of stuff. You can spawn, and as you can see, the server, I have it boosted. But yeah, you can do all your levels, you can do everything. This is all off your, sing, uh, your settings um, on your PC. Uh, so yep, yeah, you can do that. You can learn all the engrams. Um, I don't actually know what the admin password is, but yeah. Um, if you if you see, you can talk and chat. Um, you can punch the dodos. You can level up. You can do engrams. You can do try blog. You can do everything. And I'm going to try prompt this pronto out. He's only level fifteen, so. But I am, yeah, really low, and boom. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> As you can see, it's just like any server, um, except it can be private. And the only annoying thing is it is run off your PC. Your PC is the server. You know, when you're lagging, that means either your Xbox can't handle it, or your computer is unable to handle everyone rendering all of these things back to my pc all right and we're back on the pc and this is what you see when you're in the server you can see i'm connected i've got no character if i respawn then it will say that i am human level one or like level 100 and whatever i am once i spawn it should take a minute to update though um, i can add myself as an admin so i can do admin commands i can whitelist myself i can ban people i can kick people um and also okay there, there we go the human level 105 so you can kick you can ban you can whitelist you can admin you can remove people's admin they'll appear here once you give them admin you can unban people that'll appear here once you ban them you can invite people with this button but uh, it was glitched out and I did have to reload my game to be able to invite people. Or they can join off your profile if it is um, online. So there's an admin manager here. And you can see the server frame rate. Um, all your settings really. Like your XP multiplier here. Your taming multiplier here. This is all stuff that you um, can decide before you go in. And then you can make a message of the day as well, which is the thing that appears on top of people's screens. You can make it high, and if you press refresh, it will appear up on your screen, and it will also appear up on every player's screen. And then there's the return to menu button. As soon as you click this, the server goes offline, and it says that the host has quit the session. Now, if you wanted to broadcast a message, but you don't want it to be really annoying up on the top, you can just say hi in this broadcast message, press enter. And then it'll appear down here as a sort of console message, um, not as a chat message. But it is still in the chat, and everyone can see that when they have their chat on. And um, I'm pretty sure, the, like, uh, I don't know how many people can join, I'm pretty sure it's unlimited, as long as your PC can withstand it. 
although my PC would not be able to withstand it, obviously, um, not a lot of people's would, but yeah, that's basically the extent of it, you can do all your settings from the main menu, you can do your settings from here, my arc is really loud, I need to turn that down, there we go, so you can do it, the, the, the server runs off these settings here, so you can do whichever settings you like in here and it'll run off them, you can ban engrams, you can allow engrams, I think I just banned campfire, I want to enable campfire, okay that's good, I think that's just pressing. So yeah, you can do all this stuff, you can choose whatever map you like, you have to have the DLC maps installed to actually be able to do them though. That is just about it really, you can invite people, they can join off your profile if you're online, and that is about it. It can be, uh, whoever joins has to be on a Windows computer, uh, sorry, the Microsoft Store version on Windows computers, or uh, any Xbox, whether it be Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X, Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X. Um, yeah, and that'll be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, like, subscribe, Stay tuned for more. 93.8% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And my top geographies are the United States, so... Hello Americans! <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.